today, we are going to learn how to create a scatter plot by group in our studio using the Iris dataset. A scatter plot is used to determine the relationship between two quantitative variables. When we want to use a scatter plot by group, we want to see not only the relationship between the quantitative variables, but also the clustering of each group, in this case, the species of the iris. Before we start creating our scatter plot by group, we need to import the function ggplot2. There are many packages in R that allow us to do many things, but not all of them are readily available in RStudio. For example, to create the scatter plot by group, we need to use the package ggplot2. This package allows us to use more complex visual representations of data, such as more advanced graphs and more options for customizing graphs. To install ggplot2, go to the Packages menu on the right-hand side of the screen next to Plots and Help. Now click on it, then click on the Install button at the top left of the Packages menu. Once it is clicked, a menu will appear. In the bar for packages, write ggplot2, then hit Install. Now, it is installed into your RStudio. Now we need to input ggplot2 into the R script. Type library, in parentheses and in quotations, ggplot2 and run the code. This is now installed ggplot2 into your script. Now we will use the function ggplot. To create a scatter plot by group, type ggplot, then in parentheses your data set, which for me is iris, comma aes, which is the function in ggplot that tells R what you are typing will affect the visuals of the plot. Then parentheses x equals your first variable, mine will be sepal underscore length, then comma your second variable, mine will be petal underscore length. comma, group equals your categorical variable. Mine is species. Your group must always be a categorical variable, not a quantitative variable. Next, we will close both of the parentheses, then write plus geome underscore point which shows that we are talking about the points of the scatter plot. Then add double parentheses, then AES, single parentheses, color equals species. Color equals species signifies that color will be how we identify the separate species. Now, once we run the code, we will see our scatter plot by group on the bottom right of the screen. On the x and y axis, there will be a corresponding label. For mine, my x label is sepal underscore length, and my y label is petal underscore length. On the right side, there is a key for what species is what, based on color. So red is setosa, green is versicolor, and blue is Virginica. When you read the scatter plot, you will see that the groups are separately spaced out into their own clusters. We can see that Setosa is the smallest flower, with the sepal length and petal length both being the smallest. We can also see that the versicolors are the middle sized flower, generally towards the middle of the graph, and that Virginica is the larger flower, with almost all of their plot points being in the top right corner of the graph. These observations could not have been done without the clustering of the species. So, we now know how to import ggplot2, create a scatterplot by group, 
and read a scatterplot by group. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe.